Here, my guy, Thomas Lamont. What's right. good, Flint? I'm chilling, man. Just another day in the gym, another day of uh, learning. <clears throat> Just getting better, man. Just getting better. All right, back in the ring. What is it? March? March 11th. March 11th? How you feeling? No, I feel really good, man. My weight's down. You know what I mean? I'm maintaining like the mid 170s, so I'm just cruising. You know what I mean? Um, getting stronger, getting in better shape. You know what I mean? Um, working here with Bozy and 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 everybody over here is just, you know, taking my game, you know, to another level. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say uh, not yet the next level, but just another level. And each and each time we just gonna keep climbing and climbing and getting, you know, um, um, just more better. Uh, you you on a three fight winning streak and you you switch trainers. Why? Yeah, you know, I mean, like, so I just need a, I just need a change. You know what I mean? Um, uh, the best lesson in life is experience. You know what I'm saying? So I've, I've been meaning to come over here with Bozy for for years, for years and years, and I just never, you know, never made that switch. You know, obviously I'm in South Jersey. The commute, you know, I had a, uh, I had the baby. You know what I mean? Um, but she's four now, and I'm just she's in school and stuff. So you know, I just figured, you know, let me just make this um, commitment to myself and for her and the family and stuff. You know, and um. A sacrifice. You know what I mean? I'm about a 45 minute drive, bro. So it's like, all right, it's cool. Get the chill. So, but, but I just, I just need to change. I, I just need to be on the next level. You know what I mean? Um, closing out my career, man. Like, there's no secret of that. Two, three years, but I want to win the world title. You know what I mean? I had one shot, and we all know what happened with that. But working with you know Bozy and being around guys like Boots and you know um, uh, Tamir and uh, Giancarlo, like just guys like this, whether they're on the, a higher level. A lower level, mid Brandon Brazero, like guys, like these are good fighters, and and you know it just makes you better. You know what I mean, and uh, I feel like I'm the old pup here. You know what I mean? I'm like I'm like the old head here. You know what I mean? So it's like you know it's pretty cool. So uh, it was last Monday we was talking, and I was sparring, and uh, just like today, man, I'm sparring all these young guns, man, these young pups, man, just you know. So it's good. It's getting me better. You know what I mean? So it's, it's what's up. Does that keep you energetic? Hell yeah, With I the got to. I mean, I got, I got to, man, because now. You gotta keep up with them, man. They're like yeah. fucking jackrabbits, man. They just be, you know what I mean? Keep me on your P's and Q's. You know, and boxing's a young man's sport. So when I'm young, I'm still 31, but I got 40 fights now. So it's like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm used to working at, 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 a, at a, a specific tempo, you mm. know what I mean? But they keep me going, you know what I mean? So it's what's up. It's really, it's really good. It was, um, like I said, it's exactly what I needed. And this is the first camp, um, I think, Two, three camps from now, I'll be fluent with the style. I mean, fluent with their style and, and um, just be ready for, you know, whatever. Now, you ranked in the WBA in 160. Right, yeah. How many fights do you see before you know, a title eliminator? And maybe you can get that crack that at Laura. Laura's the regular champ. Yeah, Laura, yeah. You know, so I don't know, man. Like, so I'm at a point where... If you would have asked me this a couple months ago, I would have, I would have had a game plan. I would have had my promoter hat on. I had a game plan. But right now, brother, I'm just going to let boxing find me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, Boots, man. He, um, it's, it's the next champ, man. He's the next well, interim champ. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm just going to let boxing find me, man. I ain't going to go out looking for boxing. I'm going to let boxing find me, man. I'm just going to take it one fight at a time. The ratings just came out today. I'm number six now. Mm. So I went up. You know what I'm saying? So, boxing going to find me. Something going on. I don't know. Something going on. You got Danny Garcia, number eight, I think. You know what I mean? So, you got him. You got, um, you know, like, Sergio Martin. Wait, wait, he's number eight? Middleweight? He's number eight at middleweight. It's crazy. Oh, shit. I heard he's fighting Laura. He's fighting, yeah. I think he's fighting Laura, yeah. It's a good draw. That's a, it's a, it's a good fight. And a catch weight or a full 160? So, I, I want to say, I want to say, for, for I think the fight I like, from what I heard, like maybe like uh, it's a catch for, catch weight, but for the sixty pound belt for for oh, wow. belt, okay. 56, 57, something like that. Mm. I mean, that's what I heard. At least I could be one hundred percent wrong, but um, uh, at least is what I heard. But yeah, man, you just got guys in there like so something going on, man. I don't know. I don't really get involved with all that. I don't like being caught up in the the, the politics, political shit, man. Mm. Especially me as a boxer, man. When they call, I answer, and if it makes sense, if the price is right, we gotta fight. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. Know. I like that. Yeah, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm chilling. I like that.